me show you something remarkable. I draw a card from a deck. Lo and behold, it's the three of spades. Astonishing. That was only a one in 52 chance, and yet it happened. Ah, you say, you'd have said exactly the same if it had been the jack of hearts or the nine of diamonds. And indeed I would, because all of those possibilities has a one in 52 chance. The point is that something unlikely happens when I make that choice. Something else happens too. In drawing the three of spades, I have precluded all of those other possibilities. It's never now going to be the nine of hearts or the jack of diamonds because it's the three of spades. Once we commit resources, once we take an action, we preclude all of the other things that might have happened instead. And this is nowhere more true than in economics. When I spend money going to the races, I cannot at the same time spend that same money buying a raincoat or taking my friends to a restaurant. It's done, it's been used and it can't be done again. And this is absolutely true with government money. Why doesn't government spend money doing good stuff? Wrong question. Government doesn't have any money. Government takes money from other people. It takes money from taxpayers, from businesses, money that would otherwise have been put to other uses. And when people say, oh look, the government should spend money creating jobs, remember the government has to take it from the individuals who would otherwise have spent that money differently, maybe creating or sustaining other jobs in the private sector. The politician comes forward and says, look, I've created a hundred jobs with government money. And what they don't see is that the taxation it took to create those hundred jobs has probably destroyed 125 jobs in the private sector. They have quietly disappeared and government doesn't get the blame for them in the same way it gets the credit for the jobs it creates. Whenever we make use of resources, we have to take into account what we could have done otherwise. We call this the opportunity cost. Someone says, why don't you put a solar panel on your roof? Ah, it would save you 200 pounds a year on your electricity bills. Excellent, I say. How much does it cost? Oh, 4,000 pounds. Ah, wait, I could have invested that 4,000 pounds at 5% bond. I could have been making 200 pounds a year from that. So, First of all, I, I'd need to make £200 before I even break even on the deal. You see, we call that the opportunity cost. Everything you do precludes the other things you might have done. And when government spends money, it wipes out all of the things that people would otherwise have done with that money. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.